Hi guys, I'm Greg from the Sentry Box, and welcome to the first episode of Inside the Box, where we're going to be taking a look at different games, doing an unboxing to show you what's inside. Uh, those of you that know me know that I'm a huge fan of Agricola by Uwe Rosenberg. So when they brought out this uh, new updated version, I knew that I wanted to do a little video of that. So we're going to take a look inside, see what's in there, and do a bit of a comparison to the previous edition as well. So here we go. So this is a demo copy, it's the one that came in the organized play kit. So we're going to be running a release event using this copy of the game. But uh, let's open it up, take a look inside. So we have uh, player pieces, uh, pretty much the same as the previous edition, but with the these little farmer meeples added in as well. Uh, those of you that had an early edition of the game uh, would have had the thicker fence pieces. These ones are like the most recent Z-Man edition. They're slightly smaller, thinner fences. Only four different player colors because this version of the game only goes one to four. They're going to bring out an expansion which will go beyond that. So let's see, we've got the anime balls. They look identical to the previous versions. Uh, you do now get the veggie meeples and the other resource meeples. Resource meeples, is that a word? It is now. Um, the one thing I will say about these, the, the shapes are the same. Um, as the official ones you could get from Lookout Games previously. They didn't come in the previous version of the game, but you could get hold of them from Lookout Games. These are the same shapes, but they're a little bit thinner. So the versions I've got, all of these pieces are a little bit thicker. But honestly, that doesn't really matter. And in fact, thinner is probably slightly easier to stack them up and keep lots of them around. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, baggies, always useful. Uh, we have the usual uh, score pad, which looks pretty much the same. Oh, it's got four slots for players instead of five. Uh, we have the cards. I'm going to open those up in a minute. Let's take a look here. We've got the player boards. I'm just going to open this. Yeah, so. This is slightly different from the previous edition in that they have got two little edge pieces and so we've got a, this is for four players, it's got the actions on the reverse side, the three player board, and then we also have two player which just obviously doesn't have any extra actions for those of you that know the game, um, but it does have some scoring information on them, and same on the one player side, so that is different, and then you can see here, they actually have a fold-out board. In the previous edition, these were all separate boards that you just lay next to each other, and so we can see on this side, we've got all the standard actions that are always available, and then you would, you would attach the appropriate edge piece. So if you're playing a three-player game, you have the extra three-player only actions available. And they also have attached on here, this bit comes away. A separate little spot here, a side job, which uh, is an optional extra space, and on the back, just an overview of the different stages and the actions that are going to come out. So that's kind of a neat little thing. And then what do we have? 
player boards. Four of those, obviously, four players. Uh, and then we've got all the tokens, rooms. We've got these little tokens here for multiples of resources. And show you one change on the reverse of those. You see here, that's where the begging tokens are now. So they're not cards anymore. And the other thing I notice is that the clay rooms now have the stone rooms on the back. And I'll just double check. So yeah, so the wooden rooms now have the fields on the back. It doesn't really matter too much, but uh, I guess they figured that was a slightly easier way around of doing it. And, uh, looks like I've got the little markers. Uh, slightly different compared to the previous edition and on here some more new action spaces so we have uh, an action space that is usable in a two-player game um, which is part of a variant where you can just add this in as an extra space that someone can go on and they can take any one of these four actions. And there's a similar sp space for a three or four player game. So presumably these would make it slightly easier because it's adding in an extra space uh, to do a variety of things, including family growth. Sometimes that can be fought over pretty brutally, so that should make the game slightly easier. And of course we have this usual board here which is for the major improvements which never really particularly needed but nice to have anyway so all the tokens and boards going through I'll just take a quick look here the rule book so we have the main rule book uh, which is better laid out. Uh, anyone who read the rules to learn this game previously probably had some trouble at some point. The previous rulebook was not the greatest, but this one actually is explained a little better and hopefully will help. And they've got the rulebook and then the appendix which goes through just a variety of different extra things, um, explains a bit more about some of the action spaces and some of the terms used in the game. And it also has, if you can see here, a little section called variants, which is one of the things that is different. Um, there's been a lot of people over the years have come up with variants for how to play Agricola, and they've put together a section with some of those ideas in there. Uh, things like drafting, uh, even team play, stuff like that. So, and even how to do a little campaign uh, in this section. So, that's kind of a neat little addition. And it goes through scoring in more detail and just to help people who are new to the game. So, just open up the cards so we can take a look. So, we have, I believe, 48 occupations, uh, 48 minor improvements, and these are split into two decks, which they've called A and B. Um, they don't really explain what those letters are particularly signifying, um, but I guess you could separate the decks and only use one if you wanted. I know they have expansion decks planned. Um, so, uh, in the previous version they had the E, I, and K decks, uh, which were specifically designated for easy or beginner play, uh, interactive and complex 
So they, they kind of give you a hint as to what those decks were supposed to be about. These ones, I'm not so sure. Uh, we do have the major improvements and the action spaces. And as mentioned, no cards for begging, they were on the tokens. Uh, one thing I will say about these cards, um, if you're familiar with the game, you know, this card in particular, you'll know Animal Tamer is an existing card from the previous version, but they have actually adjusted what it does a little bit. And I looked through, and there's kind of a mix. You've got some cards that were previous cards that have been changed like this. There are some, like the Conservator, which is also a previous existing card, and this has exactly the same ability as before. Some of them they've just slightly tweaked the wording uh, to make it a little bit clearer. Um, but then there are also new cards in here as well. So it's a mix of old and new and some of the old ones have slightly different abilities or tweaked abilities. Um, so as, as an Agricola fan I want this because I like to have all of the cards available to me, so there are new ones in here and I want to have them. So overall, uh, the actual gameplay uh, based on the rules is the same as before. There are some variants you can add in, some of the cards are different, otherwise the game is the same. So, to conclude, uh, if you're looking for you know, if you have the existing Agricola and you're looking for a game that is like that but, you know, different, um, this isn't it. This is the same game. They just have made some slight tweaks, some slight changes, um, updated some of the wording, that kind of thing. But the, the actual gameplay is the same. Um, they do offer some of the variants, but you could already find most of those online anyway. So... I think if you've already got Agricola, you you probably don't need to get this unless you're a super fan like me, and then you'll want to get all the new cards. Uh, but if you've been on the fence about maybe getting a copy of Agricola, um, now is a good time. They've updated the rules, they've tweaked everything, uh, it's easier to understand and get into. Um, I believe the decks of cards have been designed to be you know, beginner friendly. Um, the other nice thing about this edition is that it's about $20 cheaper than the previous edition. I'm not sure quite how they've managed to do that, but um, that's definitely a good thing. So if you're looking to get into a Greco now is a great time. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time on Inside the Box.